Here I am with my back to the garden and uh, looking at the retaining wall at the bottom of the orchard. I've been working on it quite a bit. It's probably 42 inches tall, I would say. It's a little higher than waist height. And it's uh, fairly level until I get to this end. It's starting to drop off. And I'm going to continue it past this stump to about where the, the chain is. If you can see the chain right past the, the root pile. And right about there, it looks like the, about the level line where this will dive back into the hill. And I have a lot of waste rock back there to remove. I'm just kind of using it for fill down low at the moment. And uh, up above, I don't know if you can see, but the ledge is hanging out. So I'm going to slope the soil from the base of the ledge out to the front of this retaining wall after I clean up all the scrap rock. That should give me a nice lower terrace. I'm guessing probably 10 feet wide of soil when I'm all said and done. So it'll be dwarf trees and things like that down here. And besides, we don't want anything too, too tall because it would shade the garden that's right next to me. So this first tier is coming along nicely. It's been really hot, actually unusually hot for, for uh, around here. We've been having thunderstorms just about every single afternoon when I would normally be out here working, so it's been a little bit delayed. But uh, another thing that's exciting is, I don't know if you were noticing while I was talking about the chain, that uh, we have a new, new member of the family, just arrived. This is the biggest residential style chipper that DR makes. And as you can see, I spent about a half hour on it yesterday, just giving it a once through, making sure it worked. And it did work pretty well. Um, but that'll be part of an upcoming video. I'll, you know, kind of show you guys this thing in use and what to expect if you actually pick one up. But again, that'll be, that'll be for another video. So some of our brush piles are going to start disappearing here soon. It'll take me a while to work through all of them. I have uh, a significant amount. But we're going to be making wood chips, which is now going to be used for mulch. And we'll be clearing this orchard out so I can actually get some work done on this part of the hill that is currently buried. And uh, we'll just keep on trucking. It's good, but it's annoying. It's been raining every time I come out here this week. So uh, there's a lot of a lot of videos updates about the my mineral hobby because I can't get out here to work. But uh, I did get to spend a half hour or so chipping again today before it rained on me. And I'm starting to get a pretty good sized pile of chips. Chipper seems to be doing pretty well. And my brush pile is getting smaller. So uh, it's very encouraging. It's just Mother Nature won't play well. Oh look. I take you guys for a tour of the garden, but alas, the sprinklers are running right now. You can see the tassels on the corn. Also on the left-hand side, you can see our tomatoes are as tall as the uh, fence posts, which are six, six and a half feet tall. So everything's going great down there for the most part, even though we had a rocky start. I mentioned how it's been raining on me. And uh, the sprinklers are running both in the same sentence, so I came down here to put, push the reset button. Uh, the other side is going to start up in a minute here, so i got to get over there. But uh, yeah, got some standing water over here, boy. Now the whole corner of my garden used to get like this. Um, but now my garden, for the most part, is built up above it. You can see most of this corn is dry. But we are starting to get some flooding. And it uh, continues all through the woods all down in there so we're just starting to get a little oversaturated here this uh, doesn't usually happen except in spring so uh, this is turning into a little bit of a mess uh, we have been in a moderate drought and we definitely need some rain but uh, starting to get flooding over here and this is something I actually anticipated on this corner the water did pool here previously and I expected it to kind of pool here but although I did build up the beds quite a bit so the beds are a little bit higher than the trail, but it looks like I'm going to have to put in some swales and some little drainage channels. On the back side, as you can see, we're just kind of puddled right up over here. Uh, this is the back garden gate, so right outside the back garden gate, all the way to the corner, is just kind of flooded out. Got a big spot out here that's flooded. So hopefully the rain doesn't continue too much more. It's nice to recharge the earth, but this is not uh, not ideal. Let's let's take a look inside and see how we're doing. All right, looks like our trails are full. 
but the roots of the corn themselves are for the most part dry so we are right at the cusp of where we're starting to have a problem over here and we're also right at the cusp of the time for me to come out here and start weeding so oh look at that we got some beans started very first green bean look at that youtube you're here to witness it number one green bean there she is Ta-da! And I'm gonna eat it right now. Mm, very good. We've had some problems with some vine borers. Pardon me why I talk with my mouth full. But for the most part, our squashes and melons are doing quite well. That one there in the middle looks a little wilty. I'll have to check that out when it's a little bit drier. That one might be getting some uh, vine borer attack. But I mean, look over here. I mean, this one butternut squash has taken over the universe, really. Corn's looking pretty good, besides their feet being wet. Some little ears developing in here. Some nice silk. Lots of good tassels. Oh, and I did check my records. This tallest stuff is my yellow sweet corn, and the shorter stuff is um, Silver Queen, which is actually my favorite corn, but it doesn't seem as robust in my climate, for sure. So we'll see how the production comes out. Oh, see, I see our, our cherry tomatoes need to be tied up really badly. I'll end up doing that here in a few minutes after I'm uh, done talking to you guys. That's some yellow ones starting. And these are actually an orange variety, so they're, those ones are probably just about ready. Let's have, a, let's have a little stack, guys. What do you think? Hmm. Tastes pretty close to ready to me. Now look at this. My squash is so big I can't even walk around my onions. I guess that's a terrible problem to have, huh? And over here I saw a red tomato from the outside of the fence. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Carrots are doing well. I'm going to do a little bit of weeding while I'm out here. Oh, look back there. You see that big flower? here so uh, there's the one that I think is looking a little a little unhappy that one the vine borers might have gotten too I'll have to check that one out delicately but yeah carrots are looking great and marzanos are just loaded I mean these things are loaded with fruit so Picking time hasn't quite arrived, but we are getting really close, folks. Here's our first year asparagus, which unfortunately we can't pick. Oh, we need to do a little weeding in here. But um, we can't pick this for the first two or three years. But we're getting some lots and more stocks. Everything's looking pretty good. So we had a rough start this year. But uh, I guess, that, oh, look at that back there. There's a red one in the back and an orange one in front of it. So we had a rough start this year, but it goes to show, don't give up hope. We're uh, doing pretty well now. This pile's getting really small up here. I spent about another hour, hour and a half chipping today. Our pile's getting pretty significant now. So uh, easily filled a little John Deere trailer. And uh, here's this little guy, still you know, I'm still pretty happy with it. It is exa exactly what I expected, but unfortunately today I did uh, I did get a piece jammed in it, and I uh, smoked the belt. So I've got belts on order to finish up, which, you know, isn't great for a new machine to be smoking a belt almost immediately, but admittedly I did get a piece jammed in it. So, um, 
when I do a little bit, a little bit more work on this and get a better chance to, to know it, I'll uh, definitely make a review. But that's our progress on the on the brush pile for this week, and uh, of course some milling, which you'll see in another video. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.